guys, and welcome back to Ashley Main Makes. So today, uh, we are continuing on with the Charm Pattern Society dress. So I'm just kind of starting off where we were from last time. We didn't get super far last time. I basically got um, the top of the front and back with the gathering done. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of like where we were at. Um, I assembled the hood as well. So we'll be doing that today. I did figure that out. So you, yeah, so come say hello down below. If you're joining us, as always, I would love to hear where you are joining me from and what you're working on this evening. So yeah, um, yeah, and I'm wearing my cat headphones today. Uh, these are actually, like, I already had these. These are, um, actual gamer headphones, so I thought I would try these out for the live today. Seems to pick my voice up a bit better and allows the audio to be a little bit louder, so I thought that might be a little bit better for people. So, hopefully it works okay. Um, not very retro, but still kind of cute, so, yeah. Uh, let me just... Oh. Let me see as people are flooding in to. Oh, hi guys. Hi, Rotten Ralph. Thanks for joining us again. Um, yeah, so she says there's ads, so I'm just going to wait a hot second. But also, uh, I am wearing the Rita dress. So this is the Rita dress that we made on the other live, the Rita top that I ended up turning into a Rita dress. It is very cute. I like it a lot. Um, it's adorable. It's very floofy. I quite enjoy it. It's got like the big ruffle on it. I feel very cute. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd wear this guy for the stream today. Very cute with my big puffy sleeves and my cat ear headphones. We're going all the cute today. But, uh, but yeah. Hello! Hand sewing buttons onto a patina blouse tonight. Excellent. Pass that we all put off. Pull out your yoga socks and knit some. Excellent. Other crafts always welcome. Yeah, headphones are great when live streaming. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better for the sound. Um, so. Thank you, Liv. Yeah, I'm super happy with my Rita. I think it's really cute. I don't think you could ever tell that it used to live a life as a bed sheet. So. It's like very poofy, though. I felt very much like Liesel, like Sound of Music vibes. Um, yeah, so where I am right now is I'm actually assembling like the waistband pieces. So Gertie in her instructions calls for heavyweight, um, power mesh. I could only find regular power mesh. So that's what I have here. So I am doing the power mesh on both the front and the back. Um, she said for her that she had trouble getting it on with power mesh in the front and back with using the heavy power mesh. But I think because this pretty much almost has the same stretch as the fabric, it should be totally fine. Also, like, you know, I mean, I, I do actually need the zipper for this Rita, but, you know, most of the time I barely even need a zipper for my waist to hip difference. So I think this should be totally fine. Um... But I just had pinned it together, and now I'm having to unpin it again. Because I couldn't see my marks through this mesh. This mesh is, like, bizarre and kind of hard to look at, to be honest. Um, doesn't appear to be that bad on camera, but uh, in person, especially, like, the two layers rubbing together was totally, like, messing with my eyes. Um... So, but yeah, anyway, I couldn't see my marks through it. So I've just kind of remarked where that start and stop of the gathering is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera. But, so I'm just pinning. You basically flatline these together. So I'm just pinning 
my mesh to my pieces here. And I'm just going to attach them together. And then we're going to act like they're one piece. As opposed to like an actual lining lining. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to attach it to the other bodice pieces. Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you guys like the Rita. Yeah, I was really happy with it. Like, I love both versions that I made so much. I almost borderline like this more than my good version. Although I do really like, I did like a double half circle on my good version. And some um, kind of faux shearing in the back. So I'll be putting out a video on how I made that one. But, uh, but yeah. Wore your Rita and knit with bishop sleeves yesterday. Yeah, I gotta make a knit version. That's probably one of the next projects on the docket because I think that would be really comfy. You know, for my daily wear, I wear I usually wear skirts and a t-shirt. To be honest, that's my normal like everyday outfit most of the time. So I feel like it would be really good for that to kind of jazz it up a bit to have like a jazzier t-shirt. But, yeah, so I had pinned this one. This one's the front piece here. But I can't see any of my marks. So I'm just gonna see if I can see them. Ah. Yeah, I couldn't see my marks through the mesh. That's good to know for next time. Like, I'll do my marking on the power mesh itself. Normally, probably, like... You know, if I was doing this on a regular mesh, my marks would be easier to see. But getting them, marking them. Mark these guys. These guys. Better. So much better. Okay, now I can see. Yeah. Figured out the problem when I was trying to do a little bit of free assembly beforehand here. Alright. You. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, it didn't look like we made much progress last time, but I actually think this is going to come together really quite fast today. At least I'm hoping it will anyway. Although we have a whole bunch of go days to do. I don't know if we'll make it through the whole thing. For the skirt. But hopefully we'll get through like one panel. That I can show you guys. Um. Uh. Yeah, let's throw my... All right, I'm gonna be careful. So I did already set this up. So I have my machine all set up here. I did put that um, ballpoint needle back in here. This actually turned out to be really important from last time. So I went ahead and did that and I've got it all loaded up with my green thread. We'll see how long my bobbin lasts. Um, I'm gonna set this up here. So I am going to set this to a zigzag, like normal. Ow. Where's my foot pedal here? I just like kicked it all the way to the back here. Got too many electronic cords happening. Okay. There we go. How's the sound, guys? The sound all right with the headphones? I like did do test, but wanted to double check. Okay. Um, all right. So I have it set up with my zigzag. And I'm just going to just zigzag this around the edge. It seems like you do it just the way you would do a normal flat fell. Only we're doing a zigzag. So see how this goes. Be fascinating. I am gonna do it just inside the line though, so it doesn't interfere with my actual stitching line. 
sound is really good. Okay, awesome. Good to hear. I'm glad. Yeah, I was hoping this would sound a little bit better. Because it's so hard when I'm moving around to keep anything, you know, the sound consistent, so. Oh, I don't have it set to a zigzag. That would be helpful. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's better. Should have probably tested that, but this is all in the seam allowance, so it's fine. Alright. So I'm being like super careful here to keep the layers together but not stretch them. Which is difficult. Especially up this curve of this point. Probably should have done the back first as practice, but the back straight. Yeah, it seems to be all right. Okay. Yeah, because once this is flat felled, then we're just gonna sew them, sew it like it's one piece. By the way, let me know if you weren't here last week. Totally feel free to answer, like, to ask any questions. I did ask, like, I. I thought this would be a good project to do because even though we're doing another charm pattern, um, it's a knit and it's a velvet. So torturing myself in both manners. But, but yeah, if you have any questions about working with either of those, I'm happy to answer them. Because um, I have surprisingly done this to myself before and decided it was a good idea to do it again. So. And I know I just sewed over my pins there, but, you know... We're trying. We're trying. Lift and thin. Sort of off there. Close for the edge, but that's fine. Thin. Do I sew off stream and what else are you working on? Uh, yeah, uh, I do a lot of sewing off stream. Um, I have been working on a lot of stuff actually in the background right now. Um, so there will be a bunch of main channel videos up. I know I haven't had a lot of actual like sewing main channel videos up, but that's because it's all in prep for, um, I'm going on this big trip here next Thursday. So I have been... Very busy on the side, making a whole bunch of things for that. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, what have I been... So, I don't know. How much do I want to, like, give away? So this project is for that trip as well. And um, I've, of course, made the other read address, the nice version. Uh, and I've also got um, a hack version of the new Aurora dress from Charm Patterns that came out. <coughs> Again, sort of towards this project, I'm going to be talking about um, kind of a capsule wardrobe that I'm working on. So that's all part of that. That's why I've been doing a lot of Charm Patterns um, for that, because they're all sort of working together. So I've been working on that. Um... I have been frantically making another dress for that trip as well. That is kind of a sheer dress um, that I'm hacking out of that bodice block that I did. So if you haven't seen that video, um, 
<clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. My allergies have been really bad again. We're having, like, oak or something now, I guess. I can't win. Um, yeah, so I've been working on a different version of, like, basically a bodice block dress out of this other fabric. Um, that's, like, a sheer fabric, so that'll be really cool. So, been doing lots of things. Um... And of course, finishing a lot of the live stream projects because there was a lot of them like that were 75% completed. So I had like four projects that were 75% completed from the lives here. So that was kind of the other thing. <sighs> Both stretch and velvet. How brave. Yes. Decided to torture myself. Just was so cool, I couldn't help it. And very appropriate for this trip that I'm going on, so... Had to happen. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's a travel wardrobe, but not... The type of travel wardrobe that you're probably thinking about, although I'd be excited to show that off. I think we're gonna do a couple more projects. Like, I'm not gonna have them all for the trip. Um, so I think I'm going to do a couple more actually as part of the live streams here, and then we're going to have a couple more videos up as well. So it is a fairy tale capsule wardrobe, so not exactly an everyday travel wardrobe, although most of it does work individually as everyday pieces. So I'm really excited about this idea. Um, because it's sort of a costuming trip, which is something I've never done before. I don't know why I just backstitched there. But, uh... But yeah, but then they're all going to work together. History bounding, fantasy wardrobe, I guess is what I might call it. So... <laughs> The land of mold. I'm allergic to life. Yeah. Yeah. It's been like raining off and on too. It's just been. I'm just having troubles. You'll have to bear with me, guys. But yeah, I'm really excited about this as a concept because it's not a very traditional travel wardrobe. So. I think this will be her capsule wardrobe, I guess. Ah, getting stretched. Hold on. Let me reset here. When things start to bunch. It's good to just, like, try and lift up your foot and keep it from pressing that, continuing to press it forward. So that you don't push the pucker all the way down. Even though it's doing its darndest. I'm gonna not flip and spin here, we're just gonna not let that push us too far. Oh good, I'm glad, Rotten Ralph. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's very unconventional, but you guys will be see it when we're done. Um it'll probably still be a bit till we're done, but um because I'll have a couple more pieces that I want to do. There'll be probably a couple more pieces secretly related to it on the live as well. Um but we got the majority of them done for this trip. So that's exciting. It will be a couple of the live projects that you're seeing, including this one. Although this one's not really for the capsule, this is more just for the trip in general. This is for specifically one of the shoots that we're doing. So. Okay. This one's going a lot easier because it's straight. Love a good straight piece of fabric. <laughs> Hi, B. 
Pla, nice to see you again. <laughs> I love my cat ears. Thank you. Yeah, we're switching to the cat phones today. Uh, I'm hoping it helps the sound quality, so. Because I own these gaming headphones already. Why not actually use them for the actual live stream purpose that they were intended for? Their spaceman has convinced me of the wisdom of a walking foot. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually just started watching some of her videos. I didn't know about her before. Um, but since I've been doing this costuming trip, we've been watching watching a few more of hers lately. Yeah, I don't have a walking foot from this machine. I haven't had too much problem with it most of the time. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't give me too much of an issue as it gives me an issue. That's fine. I don't care. But. <laughs> All right. Now we have these guys all set up. I think there's like a glider foot too but i am excited for my new new vintage machines coming so that has some interesting applications for knits so i'm gonna be excited when that finally comes back again i'm sorry guys i feel like i'm just like teasing you being like i have cool things coming i swear but it's like the truth i don't know <laughs> it's like everything is gear up right now for things. Although I did put out a video on Friday, finally. You guys didn't see it yet. Um, I had a big four pattern haul up. So I did finally do that. So that's cool. This is a little quick video while I was working on all this other stuff. So... So what I'm doing here, these are the gathering stitches that we made last time in the bodice. I'm not explaining what I'm doing very well. Um, so these are, so we put these in. So I'm just pulling, just holding a couple of the threads here. And then pulling the fabric along to gather it all up. And then... So you guys can get a better idea. So this is like the bodice piece here. So I'm going to lay that out. And then grab my... Where's the front? Ah. Okay. Grab my front piece. Try and pull my threads out of the way here. Go ahead and line this up. So. Be interesting. <laughs> Eh. Yeah, there's being so thick in fabric like you commented rotten ralph i don't recall you commenting but 
I could definitely look. There was a few flooded comments the first day. That's always the way it goes, but... <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is beige, people. I know you got here a minute ago. I was just putting power mesh on. So the pieces that are beige have the power mesh incorporated, which is the waistband piece. Wow, this is pretty... Okay. Get all my threads out of the way again. Ugh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm getting all my gathering threads out of the way. And then... Really important thing is that I line up this point here with my seam line. Very critical. Okay. Yeah, that's the most important thing there. that actually gather so I can not make a mess of them preferably lining that up okay got it I think maybe maybe got it Maybe we're not. Now it's all bunchy on the hold on. <laughs> sure this looks like nothing. Trying to make sure this is lined up really well. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna flip this pin to the other side here. Work off the back here. It's Cause it's so thick, I'm gonna run on the gather side to make sure I'm not squishing anything along. There is that possibility with it being stretch. Okay. Got it. And okay. Million strings in the way. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Psycho Cat. Yes, kitty ears today. Wearing the kitty ears dear gamer headphones because I'm like a live streamer now <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'm talking about like bone headphones yeah those are really fun those bone in headphones Um, it uses, I have one of those, uh, VR things and it uses, uh, that technology as well. That bone in, bone in ear headphone technology. I haven't splurged on a pair of that myself. I have been thinking about getting a pair for swimming though, because those apparently work for swimming. Cause obviously like, cause it conducts through your bone. You can wear your headphones while you're swimming supposed to be like good audio for that so thought about getting a pair for that actually for doing like lap swimming you can listen to your like tunes or whatever so all right so all i'm doing here is i have my gathers and i am just basically trying to space them out until they match the flat piece
obviously I've got too many gathers right now. Ah, there we go. That's about what it needs to be. Then I'll go ahead and move them out along here as best as I can. Again, pin it in place. Hold on. Get it super even. I'm glad this isn't that gathered, so it's not super painful. I thought this was going to be a lot more gathered than it is. So this isn't going to be bad, actually. Hey guys, looks like we have a few more people in chat. Um, or not in chat, but joining us on the live stream. Um, I know plenty of you are probably lurking, but uh, if you want to give a comment down below and tell us where you are joining me from and what you're working on this evening, I'd love to hear. And as always, I think we're a bit in here. Uh, do the YouTuber thing, give a like on the video. I'd always appreciate that. If you haven't already, I appreciate all the likes. I feel like you guys see that all a lot of the time. But right. I'm just about pinned here. This side. Alright guys, I feel like there's going to be a lot of this today. Just pinning and getting those get all those gathers that we did last time that yeah whenever you're doing this you really want to try and spend some time getting this as even as you can cuz once these are sewn in they're like Kind of locked into that. Oh, nice. Prepping the quilted panels for your current corset iteration. You're doing a quilted corset? That sounds really cool. One of these days I'll give corsets a go. I know that's... I feel like it's borderline a YouTuber rite of passage at this point, but... I've got one of the red threaded ones that's actually a set of stays. And I have... I can't remember what else. Got... Okay, double check that I've got both sides even too. I feel like that's the other uh, trick of this. Having one side match the other as much as you can. This is going to be interesting. All right. <laughs> Going around this point here. A little concerned. It's fine. It's going to be fine. 
frame. Facing feathers. Good. Free motion foot. That's cool. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to, again, do some of that when I get this new vintage machine. Not that I do quilting in any capacity, but... It's just all the cutting. Like, cutting is my least favorite part of sewing. Oh, similar to corsetry, there's a bunch of tiny pieces. And, you know... Just so much cutting. Like, I'd rather cut three giant pieces than 17 tiny pieces. Although it is nice to cut on the table, there's that. Only do it if you're, go uh, you're gonna wear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's that. That's kind of the reason I haven't done it. It's like, because I don't really have anywhere to wear one. Um, like, I could have made one for this trip, but uh, I decided to make sort of a Ren Farish bodice instead. So you'll be seeing that coming up. It's actually really quite cool so far. So I'm excited to show you guys when it's done. Because um, I've got some really nice trim for it and everything. It's going to be really cute, and I'm, like, boning it, so more just, like, an overbodice than a full-blown. I was just, like, a lot of them, they're like, oh, we wear them like bras, and they're like a B cup, and I'm like, you know, there needs to be some actual structural engineering if I do something like that, so. All right, so there's the front. We sew that before we do the back? Yeah, let's do some sewing. So you guys can actually get some sewing from me instead of sitting here watching me gather things. Super exciting. Might have thought about it. I should have done this bit off camera, but. Mm, no, it's not pin. Hold on. Hold on. Um, okay, so the way I've got this, I'm going to try and get all my gathering threads out of the way again here. Why is it like this? Okay. Oops, swearing jar. Full F bomb for the day. Swearing jar. Although apparently YouTube's loosened back up again, but still, we're gonna try and do our best. Okay, there we go. Now oh, we're on track. be interesting going over gathering with a zigzag stitch. I've done it before, but not for not for a while. Your gathers are great. At least the velvet likes to stick to itself. There is that. Well, that sounded like a close call with the pin there. Okay. 
gonna stop here for a second. Then. Double check this bit as we're coming up to the V here. I think something's gone up here. Oh yeah, okay. It's rolled a little bit. Oh, the joy of knits. That's one thing you gotta watch out for is that it's not rolling on the edge as you're sewing it. This is trying to roll on me. It's doing its best anyway. All right. Put down. Hopefully that doesn't look like utter garbage. I don't actually know how that went. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. My gathers are uneven. Okay. Oh, mess. Mess. Let's get all these out of the way. I think that might have gone poorly there. See what this looks like. Might be in trouble there. Ballerina corset is the one you're making, Rotten Ralph? I'll have to go look. Alright. Yeah, that is... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's hot garbage. That is hot garbage. Okay, what I might actually do is sew this... Okay, here, I'll show you guys. You can see there what that point looks like. That's very much not a point. It's more like a rounded little doomahiggy. So I think what I'm going to do, which I've done on some knit t-shirts and stuff before. I've done this on like knit Phoenix is um, do a straight stitch for just the couple inches right there at the bust line. Um, I don't recall her calling for it, but they do it in a lot of other patterns and it usually works quite well because it gives you a much sharper line. I did, in theory, read the instructions at one point, but I'm not going off script at this point. I don't think she called for that. I could be wrong. But yeah, that should allow me to get a nice sharp point here instead of this weird little whoop-de-doo. 
what I'm going to do is basically between where these two marks are, you can kind of see the two marks. I'm just going to unpick this section and I'm going to re re sew that as a straight stitch. Instead of whatever that was. <laughs> that was awful. This is real time sewing, guys. This is what was wanted, right? Watching me screw up in real time. I didn't know Abby had made that one. Oh. I don't get a lot of patterns off of Etsy just simply because most of the ones I've looked at, the sizing range hasn't been very good on most of them. But I'd love to hear if there's like more good ones that have a decent size range. I think that's been sort of my weariness is mostly due to everyone I'm like I go look at isn't doesn't have a very good size range and I just honestly can't be bothered most of the time to like go look through everything to find one that's my size Okay. This is a struggle. Yeah, so this would have been good to do before I put in other pieces. Like, done this first in an ideal world. I don't really want to rip the other part out because then I would have to redo all the gathering stitches and that would suck. So let's not do that. Instead, we're just going to muscle through and hopefully we'll get a straight point. Yikes. Yeah. 22 inch waist. Yeah. That's not. I'm sure Abby graded it up, but. Probably not for my limited corset knowledge. <laughs> you know, dress patterns I can grade up and fit to a certain extent now pretty much from any size but knowing the ease amounts on a corset's like a whole different ball game so I assume in some sections you've got negative ease that would make it challenging because you don't know what the proportions are to begin with Okay. Yep, let's give this a go. I've got that pinned just at that point there. I'm going to do my best here with a straight stitch. And if I have to rip this whole thing out, I'm going to be sad. But I won't do that on camera. We'll just move on. Uh, so setting it to straight. Setting it back to zero. So my, my needle is in the middle. Uh, and then making sure that my under fabric isn't rolled over entirely. Okay. 
get this fabric out of the way from the point. Itchy nose, having allergies. Wonderful. Okay. Straight for the point. We go right into the ditch there of the seam line. Again, pivot the extra fabric out of the way. Pivot the extra fabric out of the way. You. What? Come on. That underneath stretch. That underneath our mesh is giving me hard time. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm probably gonna regret that amount of back stitching, but let's check this out. Well, hmm. it's still not perfect, but it's at least even. That looks a bit better. I think I'm going to pull the basting stitch out and see what it looks like. I think that's part of the issue. Yeah. I think that'll be okay. Once I have some tension on it. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got some tension happening from this top line of gathering stitches. Oh, let's see if I... Oh, these are difficult to get out now. Don't want to come out. Come out, come out. I know I've done this before. It's coming out. Caught on something, obviously. Yeah, I could see that, Ralph. Yeah, I'm not quite to the point of a self-draft yet. I just don't know... I think part of the issue is there's not enough rules for plus size, really. Like, I've, I've looked at drafting guides before and have gone into drafting. But at a certain point, the drafting guide goes out the window. Um, just because the... I don't know. At a certain point, the rules don't apply <laughs> as they're written. So, I don't know. So I've always struggled with that a little bit. Um, and I don't know enough about, like, a corset to draft one, so I think I would need a good pattern to start with to start to understand what some of the rules are in order to get going. I think I probably almost could draft for, 
like pattern patterns, but you know, I don't know. Sometimes you just want to be lazy, right? With there's so many good patterns coming out right now, it's like like if I can get one that gets me most of the way there, then you know. I can just modify it a little bit. Oh, how's that? I don't love that still. I might have to work on that. There's still a bit of a hump there. I might have to like go through very carefully and deal with that because I still don't love that that little humpy thing. Although I think I was supposed to put I might have to do this anyway. I think I was supposed to put the that's why you were supposed to do that in that order. Oh guys. I think I'll just undo the point anyway. I'll do the undo the point back to where the um I have to put the facing on. And that's why she was having you attach the front and the back before attaching the waistbands cuz I was like, "Why do that? Cuz the hood's so big." That's why you need to do it like that. That would make more sense. So, I guess we'll go and do that. <laughs> We'll attach the hoods and the facings. And then I'll unpick this triangle again. Oh well, that'll give me a third crack at it. Maybe I can figure out how to mark it in some fashion so I can get a straighter line. Guys, this is why I don't usually make a pattern for the first time on the live. Yeah, but I was like, I need this dress, and I'm probably only going to make the one. How many velvet dresses does one need? I mean, I'll probably make the other versions of this one, like the short sort of 40s style regular one, but I wasn't going to make the full stretch velvet fandango again. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, the kitty ears change colors. But they're like fun streamer headphones. I just bought them because I liked them. <laughs> Not really for the stream. I was like, you know, I should actually use my streaming headphones for the stream. Making this ugly little lump. Okay, well, maybe we'll circle back to this. We'll see how far we get. I don't want to waste the whole stream dealing with this one bump here. Oh, but you know what we do have if we do that? Do the top gather, so that should be easy enough, though. Not dealing with this little lumpy bump situation. The straight line. I like a good straight line. Okay. The same deal. I'm going to grab the two strings. Your end. I made last time, and I'm just going to gather it. Look at that. So nice. Allergies. Allergies. 
Hopefully the good thing about the headphones, too, is we can't hear the neighbor's dog that's absolutely going ballistic. Uh, probably something like that. Thank you, people. Yeah, I love I love these. I love these headphones so much. And you know what's cool too? Is like I can take the ears off and like pretend to be a business professional and then put the ears back on. So Right. So here's my back. So, same deal. Just going to... Gather yeah, side up. Oh, the laughing moon goes up to 54 inch waist. Ah, that might be good. Yeah, I haven't looked a lot at laughing moon because I think some of their other patterns don't go up that high, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I go have a look. Simplicity, yeah, I looked at those. Some, I think I even have a copy of that simplicity pattern because that's the historical one with all the different. Uh, corset patterns in it, isn't it? Uh, I might have to. I might have to regather the front. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping I can just take out, because I think between the marks, if I recall correctly... Um, between the marks is flat and that's where the facing goes. I'm pretty sure is how she's got it. So I'll probably just unpick that same section I unpicked before and do it again. Um, hopefully one of these days I'll get a nice point on it. That is a bit challenging. I gotta say of how she's got that. So we'll give that a go again, but get the rest of it done here so we can actually move on to something because we're already an hour in tonight and I don't feel like I've gotten anything accomplished yet again. So. Actually. So you, sh so you guys some sewing. Show you guys some sewing. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out tonight. Um, as always. At least you guys get to be here and hang out while I'm like suffering. Come on. Hate that when your gathers don't want to gather. Yeah, I love these headphones. They fold down, too, and they had a case. Like, they were expensive, but I've been really happy with them because I use them a lot for work. Because um, the sound's really good on, like, Zoom, so. so. I assume the sound is good here. That was the goal. I was like, the sound is good for Zoom with these headphones, so. 
Why don't I use them on the stream? And then hopefully if I have guests back, like I can use these headphones too and setup will be the same, won't have issues. So oh, I haven't watched Pocket Full of Posy, so I'll have to go check her out. Plus size historical costumes and reviews. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to go check that out. I don't, yeah, I don't typically do a lot of costuming. This is the first time in my life I'm ever doing costuming, to be honest. So this is all a new path for me, but I'm using a lot of, like, existing stuff. I'm really only making, well, I mean, I guess this is a bit costumey, but probably this is going to be, like, velvet lounge, lounge dress when I'm done. But, uh, but yeah, so... Most of the pieces, that's why it's sort of a fairy tale capsule, because most of the pieces that I'm making, like, can be worn, like, casually, like, normal. So, and then some of the pieces, like, I'm making one sort of truly, like, costumey piece. And then, you know, kind of how that ties everything together. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, I haven't done a lot of costuming before. Mostly just do regular sewing, but... You know, doing something different. Something different. Going on this, like, costuming trip, so... Like, sort of, creator's trip, so... Um... Yeah, we're doing the thing. Doing the thing. Okay. Yeah, she was on break. Speaking of break, um, so I will be, this is probably the last live stream for a bit. I am going to be taking a month off here, just the way it worked out. I was thinking about having a stream in between, but it's my birthday. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to relax. We've been, I've been doing a lot of sewing behind the scenes. So I think uh, what we're going to do so tonight is going to be the last live stream because um, I'm going on this trip next weekend and then the weekend after that's my birthday and then I'm going on a trip with my family. So I'm going to be out of town again. So um, yeah, so that's kind of we're going to. Yeah, like I say, last. Whoop, there goes my chat. There goes my chat. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. So unfortunately, this is going to be the next one for a while. I hope you guys keep sewing on Sundays. That's kind of the whole goal of the thing. So I hope you guys will still, and then I'll, I'll come back. I do plan on returning and doing more lives. Um, just, you know, getting some time to have with my family. I don't get to see them as often as I would like, so... Um, you know, it's important to just be there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like my, my birthday and Easter weekend is the same weekend this year. So, um, yeah. So, Easter baby, Aries, all the things. Um, all right. Did I put it back on zigzag? That is the big question. Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, so it's my birthday. And then, like I say, going on creator trip. And then it's going to be my birthday. And then I'm going to a trip with my family. So... But yeah, so we will be live streaming after that. I am hoping to like maybe talk to some people about coming on the live too. We'll see. Um, so let me know if there's any special guests that you would like to see and have on. Like, 
I'm willing to be the weird person to talk to people on the internet, so. Um, yeah. Might see some other special projects coming up. I'm really excited about the next little bit of, you know, stuff I'm working on. Stuff I'm making, stuff in the side scenes, so. A lot of cool things going on, so. Be an action-packed little next little while. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, tends to assume we don't want them when the creator's not posting for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. For sure. Um, YouTube, unfortunately, cares a lot about recency of videos. If a video's not recent, it's not very likely to recommend it. Um, and then if you haven't watched it in a while then you're not in the rotation. So that was kind of part of not doing the live stream, like one week in between and then not. So it's just, it probably wouldn't even notify people that I was streaming. So yeah. So I just thought I would start back up again when, you know, it actually made sense. So. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I do appreciate it. Oh, hopefully I'm not lagging too badly. Let's see. Just double check. Uh, looks like we got full bars here on my end. Yeah, I'm not showing any drops, thankfully, on my end tonight. So sometimes if you refresh the stream, that helps reconnect you. So let me know if that helps. You know, as always, I fear the spectrum, but. <laughs> fear the spectrum. <laughs> Not press the pedal when I don't have the thing under it. Yeah, the internet went out again today before, like earlier this afternoon before I was streaming. So, seemed to re reset everything and it was okay, but. You know, do what we can here. machine in the frame today. Probably tilt this guy a little bit. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. Can't see the cat phones as well though. Hmm. I'll decide between cat phones. It is a sewing stream, I suppose. <laughs> Not a cat phone stream, but come on. Cat phones are important feature. Um, yeah, Spectrum is our uh, internet service provider, um, and they're trying to compete with Google, so, <laughs> and not succeeding, let's put it that way, so, keeps being like, Google Fiber is in your area, and I'm like, yeah, that'd be great, I would love to have Google Fiber, but I'm not allowed, so... We're tied in with a uh, internet package here at this apartment complex, so I have no option. I have something else. 
is frustrating. <sighs> okay, there we go. Now. 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 All right. So now I have. Oh, there's still some string. Still some string. Did I get them all? All right. So there's our front. Beautiful, beautiful. Looks big. Hopefully it's okay. I think it's just all the gathers. And then there's the back. So I've got the gathering stitches here in the back, but obviously we haven't attached the base yet. Right. Did I touch the back before I move on to I don't know. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Guys, I'm having a hard sewing night tonight. Having a hard sewing night. What have I done? Okay. I had to put the hood. Okay, so I figured out this hood situation off camera last time. You know how I was like, what the heck is up with this hood? So this hood, um, it's not actually a hood, it's a cowl, but it's a hood cowl hybrid. So, um, okay, hood cowl hybrid, so. What happens I've lost the plot immediately is this goes so it's basically just like one long cowley piece and then this end circles around and is caught in between the the front and back pieces. So that's what I should have done. That's why I realized I just made a mistake. So this should have gotten caught between the front and the back pieces cuz actually it just connects on either side and drapes. So it just kind of drapes like that at the back so when you've got it it's just like kind of a drape and then you can uh like flip it up to be a hood so you know me eh, like <laughs> the cat phones doesn't work too well but you get the idea so oop there goes my ears. There goes my ears. There goes my hair. That was a mistake. Uh, where'd my other ear go? That's the only problem with these. Guys. Losing my ears. Losing my mind. Well, maybe I'll do a spin in the dress. And you guys can see the dress better. And I can find my ear. Oh no. Oh, there's the ear. Okay. <laughs> See the dress though? Isn't it cute? And I put in, there's those slant pockets that I put in. I do love the slant pockets. I definitely should do that again. So, anyway, back in action. No, I have to undo, unfortunately, Psycho Cat. I'm because it gets sewn into that seam. I'm kind of wondering. I have one line of gathering stitches still in. If I need to put back the second line. <sighs> I 
see what time is it. It's 8.21. Do we want to skip to the gussets? Do you just want to be like, screw it and skip to the gussets and I can unpick this off camera? Cat phones make it better. Yeah, the cat phones do make it better. Yes, yellow is my favorite color. So, like, Serena and I often bond over our mutual yellow love. I'm so glad you guys like the dress. I thought it was just, like, so cute. Hi, Hanover. Hi, Carol. Okay, yeah, let's just do that, and then I'll loop back around. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like I'm failing at sewing the tonight, you know? Sometimes it just happens, unfortunately, but I don't really want to seam rip in front of you guys for, like, you know, whatever, half an hour. I basically need to pull this apart. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Hanover. I appreciate that. Okay. So, I'll just put this aside for now. Let's do some let's do some nice long straight pieces. So, the way this works, which is oddly like a squid, is there is a skirt piece. And then you've got these big slits in it. Um, and that's where the gussets are going to go. And then... I don't know if you guys can see that either. Basically that kind of corner where that ends there. So there's a gusset on the side. So in total there's like... Six gussets. One in each and then one on each side. And two panels, so a lot of gussets to be done to make up the skirt piece. Aw. Thanks, guys. Every stitch counts, even an unstitch. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just having a rough night, apparently. I feel like I've been panic sewing. And so I'm starting to hit that point where I'm like losing it, which is not good because I still have a lot more sewing to do before I leave. <laughs> All right, let's maybe do do these octopus ones first. Because I think maybe having one skirt panel together before I do the side seam ones to make sense. So, I have... I'll put them in their own pile here just because they're like... Oh, apparently this one is still attached by a little bit. Mm. I don't have any proper scissors. All right, so this is one of our squiggly gusset pieces. It's like, leave it to Gertie to do a gusset on a stretch velvet. Kind of didn't realize there was these gussets. Get my water out of the way. My table is not even really big enough. Right, so the way you do this is you basically line up with one side of the slit at a time. 
course. Again, new feet and stretch velvet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think the screen will look really nice. I'm excited about it. Like, I think this is going to be really cozy when it's done. Basically going to be, like, cozy glamour. Yes, the gussets are a little bit harder just with the stretch and the... Um, you know, it just wants to slide around and wiggle away from you. So, versus, you know, something that'll sit in place. Like, the pile of gussets, like, I had all these gussets in my hand and they just look like... Just looks like scraps of nothingness. <laughs> So, this, like, little pile of green worms over there that are, like, the gussets. And I keep, like, being, like, are those scraps? I'm going to, like, thinking I'm going to chuck them. And it's like, oh, no, 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 no. We need those. Those are important. Nice thing is the velvet does sort of stick to itself, so we at least have that going. Annoyingly, it sticks to itself at times, but... There we go. Oh, one of my ears isn't straight. Yep, you're right. We're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> and my hair is messed up. Let's fix that. Oh, okay. Focus. Settle back in. Good to go. <laughs> Green worms. I won't be able to unhear that. Yeah, I'm sorry, Carol. <laughs> I get the pile. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry, guys, but also not sorry, guys. Oh, I didn't put my pins the right way. Do I care? No. All right. Centering. Not mucking anything up. Already pinned it the wrong way, but it's fine. I'm just rolling with it. Having one of those evenings. Fine. All right. Oh, do I have it on zigzag? Zigzag and zigzag. This is borderline satisfying after that other bit. So, <laughs> not really showing you guys how to do the bodice, but hey, a little bit more chill. Yes, lights up again. Yay. Stop threatening me with the pile of green worms. Remember the nap? Yes. So I did cut these all out. Um, that did take me a while. I did spend quite a bit of time making sure that these were all cut out the right way. So these ones come 
I didn't like switch snaps or anything. I have them all running down the dress. I have some people, I have seen some people that have done it um, where they have the nap of the uh, Godets going the other way so you can actually see them better. Just kind of, it actually looked kind of fun, um, but it was like very intentional. But I have all mine running down the dress. But yeah, this took ages to cut out. Had to, uh, no, have to make sure you have some patience with this guy for sure. We're just gonna continue up a little bit just to make sure I cross the line here of where the other side will be. I think we should have had the marking dots on the other side, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm glad you guys are so understanding. Uh, Rotten Ralph, the nap is... So, like, when you look at a velvet... Um, these are a good example. These are the facings. So, when you look at it, like, there's a kind of smooth side and a rough side. So, it's, like, smooth one way where you can pet it and it's smooth. And then if you go the other way, it like holds up, you know, it's kind of, kind of rough. And so you'll see the color difference if you have one going one way, one going one way and one going the other way, right? So one looks darker, that's against the nap, ones that's with the nap is looks lighter. So that's why you want to make sure that all your pieces are going the same way or they look sort of like they're different colors. Does that sort of make sense? <sighs> I mean, I would love some tea if someone unnamed would like to bring me tea. Yeah, raspy the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, you can sort of feel it. It's sort of like, you know, it's like if you pet a cat the wrong direction. All right. Unpin that because I put pins the wrong way. I do appreciate you guys being so understanding and just wanting to just hang out with me anyway. You know, just doing my best here, but clearly one where I gotta actually follow the directions. What? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this out of the way for a second. Pull this wiggly thing back on the table here. Oh, did I hit you guys? No, I hit my other camera. That's fine. Fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine. Okay. understand how I'm supposed to 
earn the point here. Oh, man. It zigzagged. You don't really have a sharp, sharp point to work off of. Let's just try and pin it. Trust the process, right? Allergies, which allergies? Riding the struggle bus. Well, I don't quite understand how you're supposed to be able to get in there. You'll go from the bottom. Okay. Put this here. Put the pins the right way this time. Try and go from the bottom, and then I'll maybe fold into where the overlap is. That's how we'll get away with it. Man. Thanks again to everyone joining us. I know there's a few more people down there tonight. So thank you so much for joining me, even though it's been a bit of a hot mess of a stream. I do appreciate it, as always. All right. Towards the end. Yeah, this goes. I'm curious to see how this goes. I wonder if we're gonna have the same issue that I had on the Oh, okay. Sorry guys, just was double checking. Uh, it's like my fiance had to run into work today. Okay. I didn't even hear him go. It's the only problem with these headphones, they're pretty uh pretty soundproof. So let me just double check here how I uh, just double check how we do this, since I apparently mucked up so many things by not following instructions. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Slash. Slash. In one long edge. Right sides together. Blah, blah, blah. As pinning reaches the circle... Yeah. 
the hem, so I was supposed to go the other way. Guys, I have no idea. I realize riveting content watching me look thing up. So she's saying you go up to the circle. Like, what I'm tempted to do here is just let this be... almost dart-like toward the end. Where we go up onto the thing. Uh, okay. Be okay. Maybe. Maybe. Let's try it. If it's wrong, then I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong anyway, but... I'm concerned about how that is going to be because my circle is like somewhere right there. So I'm just going to stitch up onto it and find out what happens. Okay. Guys, nothing is easy tonight. Why is nothing easy tonight? Realize I'm doing this wrong. So don't follow this direction. Yes, I'm sorry, my love. I didn't realize you'd gone to the studio. I didn't see your message. Okay. This could be a fail. Maybe we're doing the side good days. Why? I just forget you guys can see better the closer it is to me. I'm always like pushing it out thinking that's better. Okay, approaching the end. So off the end. Or not. Or I just messed it up by looking at it. this forward. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. If it would straighten out, I would love that. Nice. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. Okay. Pull on it. Don't pull on the nets, actually. Don't want to do that. Put my needle down here.
basically going to make a dart, actually. What I get. So I don't really understand what she's asking me to do. I think this will be fine. If I'm wrong, we're going to find out in half a second here. Alright. Oh! Guys! I ran out of bobbin thread. <sighs> Why? Why? What's happening to me? Guys. Well, real sewing, live and online. <laughs> For Pete's sake, okay. Just, just deep breath in, deep breath out. <laughs> oh, at least it's cathartic. I'm glad the sewing machine's a little ASMR-ish. How's the music levels with the headphone? Like, how's the like music level in the background? Is that all right for everybody too? Or is it just getting totally overpowered by my talking? Evil bobbin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be off here in a few minutes. Uh, we're down to the last like ten minutes all here almost. So, not a very productive stream tonight, but again, I do appreciate you guys coming to hang out. I was really hoping I would get a little bit more accomplished, because like I say, the stress has got to be done. Um, but yeah, let me know if... Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any more questions in the last few minutes of the stream here. Um. Not that I seem like an authority on anything this evening. Because, my god, I can't do anything. <laughs> no, I can. I can. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm a sewing expert. I purport to be a sewing expert on the internet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really purport to be a sewing expert, but I try. All right, back in action. Bob and threaded. Let's try this again. One more time. Okay. Bobbin in. Thing in. I think we're... Are we close enough that I don't have to repin this? Uh, not really. Let's just pin this little bit of it. <laughs> On a roll, just fine. Yep. Yep, sounds about right. No, I'm sorry that happened to you people. I feel like it happens. Happens to the best of us every time. You know. This isn't regular. Oh, this dress I was flying, the one that I've got on, I was like, oh, I'm doing this so fast. This is so amazing. Look how fast I am now. Um, like, I put in, like, a, you know, I put in a zipper on camera. I did, like, 
no overlapping zipper on this dress, and it was just fine. Everything was fine. Like, I've done hard things on camera before. This one is just... I don't... I don't know. My brain is just not engaged. Like, or something. Oh, let me put this down here. This pin is making this buckle. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if this even works, honestly. The way I did this. I didn't follow directions, but I'm hoping it works just fine. Otherwise, I'll cut my seam allowances out of the way. Oh my god. That's why that wasn't working out. Well, it looks just fine. Sort of. <laughs> Except the end is hanging out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Why? Why am I like this, guys? Normally, I intend for these to be, like, sew-alongs, sort of, you know, basically sew-alongs with a live chat so that they're at least useful later, but this one will not be one of them. This is more just, like, a hangout and see my trauma. Oh, hi, Eeyore! Nice to see you again! Thank you. Yes, testing out the cat phones this evening. Oh, good. I'm glad the music level's at a good point. <laughs> yeah, Rotten Ralph. Yep. I think you need to go to bed. Yep, that's where we're at. Yeah, I think we're at 8.54. I think we're calling it. This has been a cluster. Sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. This is terrible. So this has been a terrible sewing evening brought to you by <laughs> Again What's my channel about? Sewing What am I failing at? Sewing What are we doing? Sewing What am I doing? Mostly seam ripping at this point So, like I say, I'm sorry this was not like The informative, wonderful stream that we were striving for I'm glad the new cat phones are a hit, so we'll probably keep using those. Because I love them. Um, I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to have that on the inside, so we're going to find out. I'm going to need to redo this whole thing. Oh, let's see, can I just pop this in? Without this being bad. I will have a dress. The dress is going to get done. And I will put up photos. And you will see me get it done. There we go. <laughs> now it's time to set it down walk away. Yeah. Yeah, we might unpick a bit, and then we're probably going to let it be. <laughs> yeah, right when the stream is over, yeah. Yes. Ah, Jack the Stitch Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Ah, love it. Love it. Yep. Yeah. Jack the Ripper's coming for a visit. We're going to be doing a lot of unpicking tonight, guys. Might go even... we got enough of it here. I might even go watch a bit of TV or something and then come back. Because, honestly, this is a sh sheet show. But, 
Um, yeah, let's not even mess with this. <sighs> okay, so news and reporting. Next week, I have my big creators retreat next this next week. So that's what this dress has to get done by. So we're going to have to sort that out. Um, so I will probably be making a vlog for the first time for that. So that's going to be really exciting. So I'm doing that. Um, and then the next week is my birthday weekend. And then I'm going on vacation with my parents. So I'll be taking a bit of a break off from stream here for the next few weeks. So I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully we'll come back refreshed and we won't have a disaster like this time. Um, but I will hopefully have some main channel videos up in the meantime. So hopefully that'll keep you company. I hope you guys keep sewing. Um, and yeah, if you haven't checked out this week's video, uh, this week I did a Big Four haul that's actually plus size. So they've come out with a new size band in Big Four. Uh, so do go and check that out because I think that's really important. So um, yeah, so they go up to a 38W now in big, some of the Big Four patterns. So I was showing that off some of the patterns I got so but yeah do go and check that out because I mean hopefully I'll be making some of them on stream and they won't be as a disaster as this one let me know if there's any particular one you'd like to see because there are a few in there that I'd like to make probably for main channel and the stream um so yeah so let me know which ones you guys would like to see because obviously you guys are here hanging out now and that's the most important so um <laughs> Tempted a pair of sleep pants, cut a size up so I could use French seams. Could fit my three or f myself and three or four friends in them. Yeah, you know, there's just things that happen. Jack the Stitch Ripper. Yeah, it's excellent. That's what's going to be known for is now on. I have to get visited by Jack the Ripper. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm hoping my, yeah, I don't really know what we're doing for my birthday, but because we leave the next day for the trip, but still, it'll be fun, at least, and, uh, yeah. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but I am really excited, so like I say, hopefully we'll have some good main channel stuff of all the stuff that I can I can reveal all the things I've been working on in the side seams. But yeah, thanks guys. Like I say, I'm so sorry this wasn't nearly as productive as I was hoping it was being. But hopefully you guys got something slightly more productive done than I did. And uh like I say, I always appreciate you guys hanging out, and we'll be back in a few weeks. I'll probably post on a community tab when I'm back, um, but I do plan on coming back, so yeah. Uh, so I'm actually going to New Orleans, so that should be really cool. I haven't actually been before, so I'm really excited to go. Um, and hopefully I'll get a chance to wear all my cute dresses. Yeah. All right. So we are at the nine o'clock mark. So I'm going to give up this nonsense. Maybe go watch some. I've been re-watching um, iZombie because I realized I'd only ever watched the first three seasons. Apparently there's five. So I might go watch some of that and do some seam ripping. Try not cry. It's fine. <laughs> but on that note. Uh, on that note, I will let you guys go. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable watching me suffer. At least relatable, if nothing else. And uh, I will see you when I see you. Probably in four weeks. So... So, again, thank you guys so much. Bye, guys! Bye, guys! Where's my... Oh, there it is. Bye, guys! Have a good rest of your night.